Hi guys, it's me, and today I'm going to be doing a video that's very different to what I normally do. Don't mind the green hands, I was playing with slime earlier that I made. Um, I'm going to be talking about, well, I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers do these scary conspiracy theory videos and stuff like that, and I've been watching Shane Dawson especially a lot do these kinds of videos. He talked about night terrors in a recent video and how the world might end, and I thought that was very interesting, and I was just looking up stuff on the internet and I found this and I haven't heard of it before I've heard of no one talking about it and so I thought it would be a nice thing to kind of get it out there and talk about it and this is the story of the white witch of Rose Hall uh, and I actually found this I was looking stuff up with my friends and we found this um, so yeah the information I'm getting right now is from Wikipedia so this is it this is research on wikipedia this isn't like stuff that i've come up with this is stuff from wikipedia and i know that wikipedia can sometimes be wrong but it always seems to be right for me so i'm just gonna use it if i sound kind of stuffed up i have a bit of a stuffed nose but like it's fine i'm fine so this is what wikipedia says According to the legend, the spirit of Annie Palmer haunts the, gra haunts the grounds of Rose Hall Plantation near Montego Bay. So this is in Jamaica. Uh, and supposedly this Annie Palmer, the White Witch of Rose Hall, haunts this house. And I don't know. There is a photo there. There's a couple of photos. Ignore the all that stuff. Just the photos. I have a Sony as well, if you're wondering what these things are. They're the, like, Sony buttons. Um, the story states that she was born in Haiti to an English mother, an Irish father. She spent most of her life there. And her parents died of yellow fever. When that happened, she was adopted by a nanny who taught her witchcraft and voodoo. So this is all reading it off Wikipedia. I put a bit of that into my own words, but, like... It's basically just Wikipedia, um, so I'm not taking any, I'm not taking any sort of credit for that. But so she, when her, when she was, she became an orphan because her parents died of yellow fever. She was taught witchcraft and voodoo. She moved to Jamaica and married John Palmer, owner of the Rose Hall Plantation, which is where she supposedly haunts. Um, she murdered him along with two subsequent husbands and numerous male plantation slaves, later being murdered herself by a slave named Taku. Taku? Sorry, I'm probably butchering these names really badly, and if, like, this is real, which I don't even know if I believe in ghosts, then she's probably going to come haunt me. <laughs> just joking, just joking. This pro like, I don't know. It's a kind of legend myth creepy pasta kind of thing not exactly creepy pasta because it's like a wikipedia thing but i don't know um oh my <laughs> phone timed out here we go uh, yeah a song about the legend called the ballad of annie palmer was recorded by johnny cash now i've seen the i haven't heard the actual song of this but i've seen the lyrics to it and it's kind of creepy so I'm going to play you some of the, I'm um, just a bit of the song, so you know a bit of it. Not the whole song, copyright reasons, but like, it's by Johnny Cash. It's called The Ballad of Annie Palmer. One time I went down to Jamaica to a place called Rose Hall Plantation. They grow a lot of sugar cane and tomatoes and things at Rose Hall now. It used to be just a sugar cane plantation back in the days of slavery. And they tell stories about the place and about the great house at Rose Hall. So that's just the starting where he talks, but like, let's get into the actual song. It's kind of... On the island of Jamaica, quite a long, long... So that's kind of the tune of the song and how it goes. I'm not going to play the whole song because that would take forever and copyright. But basically... Uh, it's a very creepy thing to write a song about, especially since the song has such a kind of happy tune. Uh, I thought that was kind of creepy, but like, 
nothing to add there. Investigation of the Legend in 2007 by Benjamin Radford. Radford? I think that's right. Ooh. Concluded that the story was fictionalised, modelled on the title character in a famous Jamaican novel, The White Witch of Rose Hall. So about that, my dad came in and my Samsung fell down. Oh, if you're wondering what's behind me, it's one of those reversible sequin cushions. They're really fun to play with and I've just been sitting on it with my chair. Uh, okay, so uh, let me just go over that again in case you forgot. An investigation of the legend in 2007 by Benjamin Radford concluded that the story was fictionalised, modelled on the title character in a famous J Jamaican novel, The White Witch of Rose Hall, by Herbert G. D. Lissa, published in 1929. I probably got that name really wrong. I'm probably getting all of these names really wrong. Um... And Annie Palmer, unrelated to Rose Hall, did exist and by all accounts had no tendencies toward sadism or lechery. Never heard of that. Heard of sadism, but not the other one. Rough Guide to Jamaica author Polly Thomas writes that the name of Annie Palmer, my phone tongue, <laughs> may have become confused with Rosa Palmer, the original mistress of Rose Hall, who did have four husbands, but was said to be unwavingly virtuous. Um, so, it's been debunked. The myth has basically been debunked. But it's still kind of a creepy thing to hear about. So this is basically what happened. She had four husbands. The, this is how the legend goes, not how it actually happened according to the research. She had a bunch of husbands, she killed them all, and she killed a bunch of slaves that worked, that attended the garden for them. Um, so now I found a little thing on Wikipedia about the actual house, but I don't really find that interesting. So let's look the legend. Let's look up the len the legend of the story of the White Witch of Rose Hall is what comes up. Uh, Jamaica Travel and Culture dot com. So um, it's a really actually pretty old building. It looks really nice. Has a beautiful garden. There are a bunch of photos. There's even a photo of the grave of the actual mistress of the house, which. It's on Wikipedia. I'll show you that in a second. So, Annie Mae Patterson was born to an English mother, Irish father, who moved to Haiti, blah, 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 blah. They moved They moved to Haiti when she was just 10 years old. Um, whilst in Haiti, Annie became interested in voodoo. And so, here's the story varying. The story on Wikipedia said that her parents died and then... Her, a nanny that looked after her taught her voodoo which is another kind of hint that this is fake but it's still an interesting thing to hear about and learned about it from her Haiti nanny her parents died of yellow fever whilst in Haiti and she was raised to adulthood by her nanny becoming an expert in, vo in voodoo as she grew so that's kind of worded differently, but then it also says that she became interested in it and then her nanny taught her it, which really in the other story, it's just that her nanny taught her and she, it, it, it didn't say that she was interested in it before that. Um, at the age of 18, her nanny died and she moved to Jamaica in search of a rich husband as a means to acquiring her fortune. Again, this isn't my thing www.jamaicatravelandculture, I think it's .com. So that's what I'm getting all this information from. Uh, in case you are wondering, you can go read up more about it. I'll, if I remember, I'll leave a couple of links in the description to a couple things about it. At the age of 18, her nanny died and she moved to Jamaica and to acquiring her fortune. Um, she was said to be very beautiful and petite, around 4'11". She met and married John Palmer, the owner of the Rose Hall Estate, which included the Great House and a 7,000 acre sugar plantation with 2,000 slaves. So there's a lot of slaves, A, and a lot of room, B, 7,000 acres of sugarcane plantation. That's a lot, which really does require 
those many people at work they were slaves which isn't a good thing but not much you can do about that that was like an old time thing to own slaves that was generally the norm ah uh, you can read about that about slaves in america and stuff like that um if the musical alexander hamilton mainly about the war of independence it came out recently but it, it does mention a bit about slaves uh, with one of the characters, John Lawrence, fighting in the American Civil War, which has a bunch of stuff to do with slaves. I don't know if this is the same kind of slavery, but it still has stuff to do with slaves. So if you wanted to hear about that, then that's another way to learn about that. Never a good thing, but it's history. Only a matter of once into their wedding, Annie began to grow tired of her husband and started taking slave lovers to bed. Okay. One day John caught her with a lover and beat her with a crop. Annie took great exception to this and murdered him by poise. Is this poising his coffee? I think it means poisoning. She then inherited Rose Hall for herself. This is very a very creepy kind of thing to read about, but it is very interesting. She, she inherited Rose Hall for herself and began reign of te began the reign of terror on the estate. She would regularly shout orders to her slaves from her balcony and would often torture or kill any slaves who displeased her and sometimes just to make an example of them, she took a string of them as lovers however none of these lasted for long as she murdered them as soon as she grew tired of them so basically she did things with people and then got tired of them and killed them a very freaky thing oh my god i almost kind of am wary about posting this not because of the legend or that i think she's gonna come and haunt me um because it's kind of like a lot of people might kind of be upset by this video okay so in the title of this video i might put like a kind of trigger warning thing if I do end up doing that, it's not like a trigger, it's like a kind of, it could upset people if they don't like this kind of thing. So I might just put a warning, kind of scary thing. Oh, and by the way, this is my phone case, if you're wondering, my phone case. So now I'm going to, okay, I don't have much more time left on the video because you have this, like, this whole thing. But let's look at some images. Uh, the White Witch, there's actually a story about it, a book. This is just like a collage of it. I'm just getting this off Google Images. It's a very easy thing. If you search it up, it will come straight up. It's a very easy thing to find. This is another photo of the house of the of Rose Hall. And just an extra little thing. This is supposedly a grave of her maybe. But then again, um some research did prove that this was a myth. So this this could very well be absolutely wrong and I could have just been talking out of my butt for the last 15 minutes because you never know um but this was a very interesting video to film and there will be a couple of links in the description 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 if you guys want to go read more about it if you guys want me to if you found this interesting leave in the comments below if you want a part two because this was actually a really interesting and fun video to film let me know if you want any more creepy kind of videos like this and hopefully the quality of these videos will improve and i'll have a little bit more set out in the future but yeah bye guys thank you all for watching